Hello there, welcome to my channel. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If not, please smash that subscribe button. Okay, so today's episode, I'm going to be revisiting an old design that I used to use many years ago, and it was recently re-invoked over the past couple of days after having some conversation on Reddit with people about their shuttle designs. Now, shuttles are up there with the steep learning curves, uh, such as docking and interplanetary transfers. It's one of those sort of things that when you actually know how to do it, you will just do it quite happily. So, in order to get around the whole issue that shuttles have with launching and balance, I came up with a very simplistic way to get around it, and... I've updated the design slightly because nowadays I use mods as opposed to just using the stock game. So, how do we get around balance issues on a shuttle? Well, it's quite simple really. We alleviate the balance issue on shuttles by having shuttles. So, here we have the twin orbiter launch vehicle. And this was how I used to get around the balancing issue with shuttles in the first place. And it also does make sense if you think about it, because now I have a twin payload bay to take to orbit with me. I also found that this was very useful also for when I wanted to go places like EVE, uh, where you can still use space planes because it obviously has an atmosphere. And what I used to do was I'd have a docking port on the bottom of both planes, and once they got to orbit, I would decouple them from the main stage and then dock them together. They would become one vessel and they could go wherever they pleased together. However, on this particular occasion, I've updated the design slightly. Actually, it's totally completely <laughs> because I use mods nowadays. So I'm obviously using the OPT space plane parts for the shuttles and I've got other mods such as Space Y for various other parts. Obviously these are uh, parts that mimic uh, SpaceX's parts in the real world. So, let's go have a flyabout, just to be sure that I'm actually... Yes, we've got a pilot in both and that's what we need, so let's go take a launch. So shuttles are very difficult with the uh, design to begin with if you don't know what you're doing, and if you are still struggling, I recommend this is something that you may want to try. If you are capable of docking in orbit, but you're not quite capable of getting the shuttle there, well, take two and dock them together. It's brilliant. So, I haven't played around with the thrust limiters or anything like that. I know this vehicle is majorly overpowered, so I'm not going to apply the full amount of thrust to begin with. Engines ignited, launch clamps released, and off we go and look at that! No balance issues. We're not flipping over to one side. We're going straight up. So, as I was saying, this is something that I used to use to get to EVE. I'd take it anywhere else I really wanted to. I mean, just because it's a plane and, you know, EVE's the only other planet that's got an atmosphere doesn't mean to say you can't take a plane anywhere else. Take a plane anywhere you want, right? And if you do hear the odd click in the background, that's my keyboard. I am actually doing this as a playthrough video today, as opposed to something that I'm going to heavily edit later on using uh, my editing program. The only edits that I will add in is obviously a bit of music and the odd correction on my own speech because I do make mistakes, we are human and I do like to correct myself. Nobody likes to get anything wrong and I don't like to mislead people. As you can see, this handles just like a rocket, only the difference is obviously we do have the advantage of stabilizers, ailerons, etc. So, yeah. I'm just going to push my way out to about 75 kilometers per orbit. Doesn't have to be precise. But we will get it as near as damn it. Okay, we're getting close. Oop, veered off course there. I'm watching uh, instruments down here, not the actual nav ball. And that will do me for now. So. 
rotate myself around it if it will let me. There we go. As you can see, this is very stable. I do use auto struts. I don't like having wires, because that's what it looks like to me. Wires as opposed to anything holding anything together. It, just, it looks a mess to me, so I do prefer to use auto strutting myself. It's totally up to you how you design your vehicles, though. It's your game. Do it how you want to. Okay, so how far are we away? 55 seconds away. We're still in the atmosphere, so we can make use of that time warp. Okay, so let's get this burn on the go. Just a little bit. And what I'm watching for here when I'm making orbits is I'm looking for the time to apoapsis. At the moment, I'm still approaching apoapsis. So that's good. But now it's stopped, which means I'm about to push it away. And I don't want to push it away too far because then apoapsis starts pushing out even further. So we just let off the throttle. Ourselves down a hell of a lot more and we're still approaching nicely there. So... I'm just going to put a stability assist on and just let it naturally nose back round. I say naturally, I'll just... There we go, pushing it back out again. Back to program. We're almost there, come on. I won't lie, that was a very janky orbit. Uh, but it worked, so, you know, we're... The orbital camera change has happened, we're not quite in orbit yet, not a stable orbit anyway. Almost. So, now that I'm roughly here, we'll, we'll call that as near as damn it. Um, so yeah, what I used to do now was decouple both planes, separate them away from the core stage, and then dock them together, and they'd go wherever they needed to. However, on this particular occasion, I decided to adapt the design just a little bit, and we're going to decouple that nose away. Probably should have removed the small amount of fuel that was in there and saved it, but it doesn't matter. That's the whole point of why this is there. We now have a docking port available, so I can now launch another rocket, attach it to that docking port, and refuel this core stage and send both planes on their way. There's no need to dock anything together anymore. So if you are the sort of person that has struggled with shuttles in the past, and if you are still the sort of person that struggles with docking, this could be an ideal design for you. Hopefully this will help get you some ideas in your head, and you may be able to get somewhere with multiple planes. For now, I am Shalectra. Keep the pointy side up, and I will catch you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe.